Okay. This is the innovation is called Putra Physics Go mobile application. I developed this app specifically for my course ESC 3013 Environmental Physics. So what happens is that in my class, my students, I my goal is to make sure my students understand concepts in physics because I'm teaching physics. Therefore, I prepared a lot of questions for my students to solve for them to understand the concept. And then they will ask questions like, what would be, what is my answer? Is my answer correct? So once I give them the problem, they would like to know if their answers are correct. Therefore, if I have 60 students in my class, 60 of them will ask the same questions. <laughs> So I thought it would, be, it would be good if I create an app so that they can verify or check the answer themselves instead of asking me the question again and again. So if I prepare 30 questions for them, I include all these 30 questions in this app. So every time I ask them to solve this problem, they can verify the answer using this app. This app that I specifically talk about, put up is app go. So, so there are seven topics that I cover in my course, and the students can just click uh, the the topic, and then they can find the problems inside this app, and then they can try to uh, they can uh, try to answer this question by clicking the answer here. So if the answer is correct incorrect, the app will tell the students the answer is incorrect. And if the student get the right answer, the app will also tell the students the answer is right. So that way, they can independently learn physics and solve the problems themselves instead of, you know, instead of uh, relying on me too much in my class. First, the students need to install the app. I have uploaded the apps to Google Play. So my students can go to Google Play Store and download the and install the app in their phone, mobile phone. And then they can use the app right away and they can find all the topics, they can find all the problems in the app. So like I said earlier, they can just, uh, it's very easy to use. All they need to do is just insert their answer here and check whether the answer is right or wrong by clicking this go button. I also include multiple choice questions in my app like this. So they can find multiple choice questions in this app as well, which they can attempt to answer. For example, in this question, there are five options to choose from. So they can click one, and then they, at the end of the page, here at the bottom of the page, they can find this button which says check your answer which they can click and they can and this app will tell the students whether the answer is right or wrong if the app tells them the student is the answer is wrong they can go back to their answer and check whether the answer is right or they can uh, attempt another time give it, give it another attempt and then they can continue to do the same thing until they get everything right so uh, in addition to that, I also include puzzle, crossword puzzle in my app, just for the fun of it, just just to give my students something to kill their time, maybe while they are waiting for the bus. So they don't just waste their time waiting for the bus, they can try to play this crossword puzzle to help them understand physics better. I've been teaching physics for four years, and I keep uh, having the same problem with my students, where every time I give them s mathematic problems, every time they finish solving the problem, they always ask me for the answer. And then, so I think by having this app, they don't have to ask me questions, they can check the answers using this app right away. 
but before I create this app, I talk to a lot of lecturers, especially lecturers at the Faculty of Computer Science, and they gave me several ideas. And then finally, I found a person named Razman Sarit. He is, he has his own IT company, and then I talked to him about my problem, and then he told me to take class with him. So I took class with him, and then he taught me a lot of things about programming. So for example, uh, here, right here in my in my computer, I use Ionic platform, which I learned from Mr. Razman Sarit, and then by using this uh, program, it's just this this software is called Atom, and then so. I use this software to develop this app using Ionic and Cordova platform. So the inspiration actually came from many different sources, different people for, for you know, creating this app. I also Google, I also found a lot of apps on Google Play Store, but I found out that none of these apps actually serve the specific purpose that I'm looking for. So that's why I, I create my own app, because I have my own specific goal to achieve. I think the biggest problem, I would say, is time. Because, and also the, the required specific skills required to develop this app. So I actually, personally, I, I spent about two years looking for the right person to teach me, looking, looking for the right opportunity to, to learn about developing mobile app. I finally found the opportunity last year, around, September, uh, around August, and then that's when I met Mr. Razman Sarit. And so I spent five days just to learn how to create this app. And then I learned that, I just learned basics programming skills from Mr. Razman Sari and then I have to improve my programming skills and that took a lot of time. Took me many months, many trial many trials, many trial and errors. And I keep getting into problems and I I had to ask a lot of people about it. I actually consulted with a few more experts in the IT industry to solve my problems. Finally, I was able to finish this app around November, December last year. And then by January, I applied for copyright uh, with Putra Science Park and I finally granted the permission to, to apply for copyright officially with my IPO office around January this year. So to, to some, the, the biggest challenge would be getting the specific skills and also the time to actually develop this app. <laughs>